How's it going guys? Uh, so today's video is going to be about two haunted places uh, that are in Wales. I was doing a bit of research lately and uh, there's loads of articles about all these stories and I picked out two of the most creepiest ones that I have read. Um, just to let you know, I don't think you can go to any of these places so I'm going to tell you now uh, because I don't want to be responsible for anybody going into the buildings and obviously facing criminal offences and stuff. So I'm going to put that out right right now. Um, so yeah, let's begin. Uh, so my first one is a place called Scare House, which is in Porth Call. Uh, the 800 year old mansion, which is private property and not open to the public, is well known for its violent past. This included 16th century carnage against Catholics. People have reported hearing high pitched screams and wailing cries. They have also seen dark shadows and figures. It looks pretty creepy and it sounds pretty creepy. Uh, in my opinion, I'm a big believer of ghosts because a place where I work, uh, there's paranormal activity there all the time and I'm big into watching ghost adventures and stuff like that. So yeah, I find it pretty interesting of this stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I would be able to physically go and see these things. Um, I've never actually seen anything before, either I've heard things and experienced stuff, but I've never actually seen anything, luckily, because uh, I wouldn't know what to do or something like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, moving on to my second and final one. Uh, it's called Craig and Norse. Uh, it used to be a sanatorium for children with tuberculosis, uh, which is basically TB. Uh, it was later on a home for an office star, which is quite famous. I'm not going to say the name, but you can look it up if you want to. It once featured on the UK television series of Most Haunted. Um, for the American viewers, because I know a lot of you are from either America, or Canada, or even down south, um, Most Haunted is basically, uh, you've probably seen the series of Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. Uh, that's one of the most popular ones, so that's the only one I can really reference it to. Um, but in Most Haunted, they kind of have like this what's it called, a psychic I think it is, and he goes around these rooms and he basically experiences these different things, uh, for example like physical presences and, do you know what I mean, like you can hear voices and stuff, which I think, I, I don't know, I don't really believe in being able to experience stuff like that, I think basically you just research isn't it, like the psychic is probably researches stuff and then he's probably saying like, oh I can feel someone here, and then he kind of like, because he knows anyway, isn't he? Because he's researched it. Um, but yeah, it's each of our own of that. If you believe in that stuff, then fair enough. But personally, I don't. But I'm going to carry on reading anyway. Um, during that episode, it was said that the cellar contained a particularly nasty guy. Uh, again, that was said by the psychic. Um, again, think what you want with that. But I don't know. Unless you're actually in the room and you experience it and you feel there's, there's some cold presence there, you can't really say anything about it, um, but that's what I just think anyway. Uh, there were also rumours of a child being pushed out of a window in one of the rooms, which the psychic said he felt when he was there. Uh, this is an actual photo of Craig and Norse, which I find actually really creepy. Uh, as you can see, it shows a figure walking up the staircase. Uh, stuff like that really creeps me out. Um, they, actually sit, they actually see something physically, do you know what I mean, like a shadow or anything like that, oh, I don't know, I, I just, I, I couldn't experience something like that, that would just be the, the worst nightmare, it's probably the same for a lot of you guys watching as well, um, I don't know, I wouldn't know what to say of that, for things that I've experienced as well, I've, I've heard noises and I'd, luckily I've never seen anything, but I've seen things move and stuff like that and it's just kind of, it's, it's pretty frightening, so, you just don't know what to do with it, because you don't know it doesn't feel real with stuff like that. Um, for example, with me, like I've put something still in a room before, and I've shouted into the room when there was clearly nothing there, saying, "Can you move this? If there's something here," and it moves dramatically, like, and it's just you don't expect it, and then when it happens, you're just like, "Oh God, what the hell do I do now?" So, yeah, it's each your own of that. Um, but yeah, I thought this was kind of an interesting video. Um, I kind of like researching stuff, so if you want to see more videos on this, I'll quite happily do more. Uh, even if it's just, if, even if you're from a different country, I would happily research 
things of that country and then I'll tell you the rumours and the stories of that. Um, but yeah, let me know your opinions or if you've ever seen or heard anything of paranormal activity or if you've even been to these places, comment below and let me know. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you found it interesting or even if it creeps you out, just like it and it really helps the channel. Uh, if you're new or you haven't subscribed already, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I do a lot more fun videos, I do gaming videos, vlogs, uh, I do videos like this as well, uh, discussion videos and just pretty much everything. Uh, I upload every Tuesday. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.